Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about significance of configuring multiple addresses in Odoo 16 contact module. Contact management is very essential for the smooth functioning of a business. In some instances, most firms struggle to maintain an address with different individuals in an organization. Sometimes we need to add more than one address for a company or individual. Various addresses related to delivery, invoice, private and other addresses are generated inside contact data using Odoo ERP. It is possible to maintain the city, country, phone number, mobile number and specific individuals inside the address. We can quickly reach particular person by viewing their contact address and the Odoo 16 contact module is helpful. So let's get into the module. Before adding multiple addresses, we need to create contact data from Odoo 16 contact module. So when you get into the contact module, the default view or the default tab is contacts and the default view of the contact window will be Kanban. You can also see different views like list, which attains the details like name, phone, email, salesperson, activity, city, country, and company. The other views are map view and activity view. A user can filter with default filters like individuals, company, customer invoices, vendor bills, and archived feature. Or the user can also use custom filters. So let me back to the Kanban view. A user can also group by uh, that can be default or custom. If it's default, he can group by salesperson, company, country, etc. Now let me create a new contact with the new button. So here we can create contacts with individual or company. So when you choose individual as the contact here, we can see we can give the name of the individual. And we can also configure the company name. So here we have the list. So when you choose the company, all the other details or the all the contact related to co the company will be pre-filled in this field as we have already created the company Germany Furniture. And Odoo also provide an area to upload the photo of the individual. Here we can also give the job position. phone number you can fill the email and website title for this individual and tags for filtration purposes. So here we can add multiple um, tags. Okay, now let me save this. So when you save the contact and when you back to this search for Stephen, so that you can see the address that we have created or the contact that we have created. Now you can choose that contact. Now let's check how to add multiple addresses for a contact. So here we can see a tab called contacts and addresses. Click on add button so that we can add different contacts like contact, uh, invoice address, delivery address, private address and follow up address. Follow up address is a new feature that is added in uh, or to 16 contact module. So contact is used to organize the contact details of the employee. So let me create a contact. Here we can give the name of the contact. So let me fill the details. And click on save and new. So let me create another contact uh, address that is invoice address. So invoice address as used uh, for all the preferred invoices. This can be selected uh, 
by default when you invoice an order that belongs to this company now let me give the contact name for the invoice address so here you can see all the details uh, email now you can give the phone number and mobile number now if you want to add any internal notes you can add it over here now let me uh, save and create another contact that is the delivery address so delivery address is used uh, while delivering a product for this company so here we can give the uh, name so let the name be Michael and you can see the address is uh, pre-configured and here you can uh, give the details like email uh, and phone number you can choose the phone number and mobile number and let me click on save and new in order to create the other address that is private address so private address is used uh, or that can be only visible for the authorized users because these are the sensitive data uh, that can be uh, the address of the employees that is the home address now let me give name for contact now let me click on save and new in order to create the other address so other address uh, is used for uh, uh, the company now here you can give the name of the other address now let me create the other address which is used as follow-up address that is used to follow up uh, the person or the user when there is any pending payment at all now you can save and close this so here you can see all the addresses that we have created uh, and let me save all the uh, multiple addresses and let me back to the contacts and when you search for the uh, user that is Stephen you can see all the addresses or when you just drag down uh, this view you can see all the uh, address that is uh, created under the company Gemini Furniture so we have created multiple addresses so you can see uh, when you create the contact uh, we can see different addresses like invoice and delivery so we can use invoice and delivery address like sometimes the people uh, will be ordering the product in one address I mean they want to make the delivery in one address but the invoice should be in, in other address in such cases we need to use both addresses uh, yeah uh, during the delivery so we have to enable one uh, feature called customer addresses from the accounting module and let me go to the configuration settings and here we can see customer addresses under the customer uh, invoice so let me enable this feature so this would allow you to select the specific invoice and delivery address so let me save uh, the contact and now let me back to the sales module now we can create a quotation so as we have enabled the customer addresses from accounting module we can see uh, a field called invoice address and delivery address will be triggered in this uh, contact and when when you choose a customer so let me choose a customer as Stephen here you can see the invoice address and delivery address of this customer will be automatically configured by Odo now let me add a product and make delivery so let the product be acoustic block screen so currently we are demanding for one quantity which is available right now and you can save the quotation and confirm the order so that you can see a delivery smart tab now as the product is not available here uh, the product is not available right now so let's back to the order we can see that the product is currently not available
currently the product is available and click on check availability and set the quantities and click on validate button so that the delivery is completed right now so here we can see uh, the delivery address is different and we have given a different address for invoice now let me create an invoice that is regular invoice so we have completed the delivery for one address and we are creating the invoice for the other address click on register payment and you can set the journal and every other payment method and all let me click on create payment so that after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank the next address that to discuss is about follow-up address so follow-up address is used when the customer makes delay payment this is a new feature in odoo 16 contact module so let's check how to manage uh, the follow-ups in odoo 16 so go to customer invoices and let's create new invoice here you can choose a customer address so let me choose a customer address and when you choose a customer address the delivery address will be automatically uh, triggered in the delivery address field and here you need to set the invoice address so we can only follow up a customer when there is a delay payment for the customer so let me set the date uh, invoice date and here you can choose the payment so let it be immediate payment and you can fill the invoice lines with the product so you can choose a product and let me change the price of the product yeah and you can save the changes and you can click on confirm button so that the invoice in the draft state will be moving to the costed state now when you back to the invoices let's search for the created invoice yeah here you can see that uh, the customer is delayed for 15 days here you can see the due date is 15 and we can set uh, the follow-up levels for uh, the due days so when you go to the configuration settings here you can see the follow-up level so here we can see uh, a few follow-up levels with it details like description due days send mail send sms send a letter automatic activity and company these are the follow-up levels uh, which is already created by odoo so when you go to the follow-up level uh, for 50 days here you can see the description and uh, remind these after the due date and under notification we can take some actions like send mail send a letter send sms message and can also set the content template so that that content will be delivering to the customer now another option is uh, setting the automatic follow-up level and uh, attaching the invoice so under activity we can also see we can schedule the activity and can set this responsible for this and can set different activity type we can follow up uh, the customer with a different activity like uh, it can be call email meeting order absent and so on and here we need to set the summary for this uh, activity which is mandatory now we can check the follow-up uh, report when you go to the customer menu uh, here we have follow-up reports and here we can see the uh, details of the customers uh, who has overdue invoices so let me choose a customer and let me check the invoice number so here we can see different invoice number and here we have a different uh, i mean here we have the invoice number which is due uh, for 15 days so uh, the reports that are due for 15 days will be listed in the follow-up report of 15 days and here we can see total of nine invoice is pending for this customer now if you want to follow up uh, this you can click on follow up and we can take some actions like uh we can print this we can uh email sms and by post uh we can follow up the customer so when you click on follow up the order will automatically configure the customer to follow up so here the um recipient will be automatically configured by order now you can click on send and print so that the customer will be follow up so currently the customer is follow up and we can see uh, the follow up report over here.
so we can see the follow up report and the payment reminder is given here so this is how to manage a uh, follow up so hope this concept is clear for you